people wanted to dance with. And my grandfather was about number eight on the <laughs> dance card, and that's how they met. And so it's kind of like... Yeah, I'm sure we all know somebody idea. who's somebody. met somebody online and getting married. I'm not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. But we but you met somebody. Yeah, I did. Yeah, my person. I met him online, and who knows what the future holds. So I hope the stigma. You know. <laughs> I hope the stigma starts to go away because it's a it neat should. way to meet a yeah, lot honestly, of people. Yeah, honestly, it's been really good so far, and it's been almost a year. So you know. And I have to say, Cole wants to thank that couple, <laughs> Casey and Sandra, too, for sharing their story. Yeah. That really made that story there. So big yes. thanks to them. Oh. Yeah, it's you know, love. I feel like you're always going to find a way to find that person, right? No matter whether it's online Someone or through everyone. now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Hey, let's go ahead and talk about the weather because love is in the air tomorrow, yep. of course. It's a big day, and we're all hoping and keeping our fingers crossed whether we're celebrating Valentine's Day or not, that the sunshine will come back tomorrow. Uh, we will see a little more sunshine, and we'll keep the dry weather going, but we are going to be battling cloud cover that's going to be on the increase. Uh, here's a look out there right now and a beautiful shot there of St. Helens. You can just see how clear the skies are right now. 51 degrees, southeast winds coming in uh, at 15 miles an hour, so still pretty breezy out. Occasionally we're seeing some strong gusts, but most of the gusty conditions are farther to the east. Wind advisories in effect for this whole highlighted area here until 10 p.m. tonight. So we only have a few more hours to get through some of the gustier conditions. So far, peak gusts in Portland have not been on the damaging side, but out towards Troutdale we have had some strong gusts, 45 mile an hour gusts there or near that, and that's just within the last hour. So the winds continue to blow strong and uh, temperatures topped out in the low 50s, but with that wind, it certainly felt much cooler out there. This evening temperatures will fall quickly after the sun goes down when you have clear skies in place and drier conditions and with this breeze expect those temperatures to drop very quickly so bundle up. Uh, by midnight we're in the mid 30s but of course wind chill will make it feel like it's in the 20s for most of the night. Uh, overnight tonight down to 33 for a low. Blustery wind chills in again the 20s through the rest of the night. Uh, here's a look at the coast and boy what a beautiful day it was out there. A time lapse from our Chinook winds uh, camera there. You can see the cloud cover gradually rolling in and that's going to continue to increase but I think we'll find some breaks tomorrow as we get through the day and we'll still get some sunshine going. So you can see on the satellite picture there, uh, that's just that fringe moisture moving in ahead of two more systems are going to bring in the rain by late tomorrow night and very early Wednesday morning. So most of Valentine's Day looks fantastic. Just expect a little more cloud cover. Morning brunch temperatures will be in the chilly side, so bundle up. Uh, midday lunch are already in the low 50s and by that romantic dinner, again, temperatures falling quickly or back to the 40s. So cloud cover will be in and out tomorrow afternoon, but by late in the day, it's going to be thicker. You know what? It may just time out just right that we'll see a very beautiful sunset. A lot of times when we have these systems approaching, it makes for fantastic skies out there. So we'll be watching that closely. And then as you can see, by the time Wednesday gets here, the rain is back. So your forecast for Tuesday, low to mid 50s and increasing clouds, but we'll keep it dry through Valentine's Day. And then your forecast for uh, Wednesday, the rain returns. So it holds off just in time to get those plans out of the way. Uh, wet again Thursday and then pretty active weather, unsettled weather going into the weekend. We'll do that later. later. Let's just let's just hang on to the beautiful weather we've been having lately. When somebody moves here, I always tell them every week, Every February, there's a week that's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Maybe there you is, go. Maybe you do know. This is the week. This is the week. <laughs> the one time. Thanks, Kristen. Stay with us, everybody.